suckers and cowards making excuses. Fuck that. What's good with the gang? What's good with the squad, man? What's good with the nation? It's your boy Scoop, and you already know we gotta talk about this situation, man. How do y'all feel about this situation, man? We got all the bloggers and everybody talking about the situation that happened last night. Meek Mill, 6 9 the confrontation in the parking lot. A lot of people and a lot of bloggers was basically saying that Meek Mill made the right decision by pretty much not putting his hands on 6 9 or not doing anything illegal to 6 9 or the people he was with because you know how they say you're gonna be in jail you're gonna be locked up don't throw your freedom away for a rat don't throw your freedom away for the internet don't throw your freedom away because you feel like this man has overpowered you you know what i'm saying that's basically what i was getting out of the situation when i was reading it all through the waves and on instagram and on youtube a lot of people was basically saying that mcmill has made the right decision do you you feel Meek Mill made the right decision or do you think he took a L? You know, do you think that they should have let 6 9 and Meek just go heads up in the parking lot, turn the cameras off, turn the phones off and just bang it out? You know what I'm saying? It don't need to be on the wave for the shit to get done, for the shit to get completed because at the end of the day, we seen what these brothers was doing on the waves, back and forth, back and forth with each other. Also, tell me how y'all feel about what Wax said, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like everything he said about this situation is real? Oh, you suckers and cowards making excuses. Fuck that. Nigga, we gonna set the rules straight. I'm on live, baby. I'm on live. The rats up one. It's one zero, rats up. Microphones are zero. Rappers are zero. Check this out. All right? Everybody seen what happened. <clears throat> now, let's set the motherfucking um, the table right now. This is real shit. Because I'm tired of motherfuckers like selected politics. You want to change the channel when you yeah. want to change the channel. Nah, nigga. Nah. All you niggas, your lyrics... When you carry yourself, you pop that shit. When the ball in your court. But, but nigga, when it's go time, niggas go time. <clears throat> all y'all out there who didn't walk them yards with me, all y'all out there that didn't walk them yards, you understand where we come from? You understand that we accept the fact that we finna go out on this yard where it's five gun towers that say no warning shots and it's five, six hundred inmates. We're going to be trying to blast you and hit you with battery packs. And we still make the decision that based upon what the situation is, time to get down. It's time to get down. Check this out. I watched niggas chase down Safari, a non-affiliate. A non-affiliate. Very humble individual. That shit pissed me off. I watched niggas chase Safari down. You Black Lives Matter niggas, another black man. Safari don't bang. He ain't did nothing to nobody. He ain't did no diss. So he ain't did shit. But I watch niggas. So evidently, it's some type of animosity between these two. And if not, I feel it's all staged. Some of it is true. Some of it is not. Or it's just all bullshit. Now this little dude, the little rat dude, y'all know what I'm talking about. He minding his business, whatever the fuck he doing. And the rapper... Addresses him. Niggas on Clubhouse addressing academics about why they supporting the rat nigga. Niggas his own academics pressing him. Another civilian. Talking real greasy. You know what I'm Fucked throwing your life away for a rat that's trying to cloud chase. Or you know what I'm saying? Stand ten toes when a motherfucker trying to run up on you doing your motherfucking thing and then they try to intervene. You know what I'm saying? Do you handle your business as a man and knock his ass out and handle yourself? Or do you just get away from the scene, you know what I'm saying? Not say shit and you know what I'm saying? Leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know motherfuckers is saying 6 9 is cloud chasing. He running down on anybody. You know what I'm saying? He put, trying to put motherfuckers in jail for this shit. Or he trying to put motherfuckers behind bars because he know if anybody fuck with him, this is going to be the probable cause of them going to jail, I guess. Or that's just how they feel about it because he's a pure cult rat. <laughs> 
But yeah, man, tell me how y'all feel about what Wax said, man.